Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Aaliyah and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a worksheet in Canva step by step. If you're a teacher or just someone wanting to create worksheets but don't know where to start, then this beginner friendly tutorial is just for you. Let's get started. The first step is to go to Canva and choose a blank design. For worksheets that I create, I always like to go with the custom size option. Once you're in Canva, choose create a new design. Then you will go down and choose custom size. Once you click on custom size, make sure you go over to units and change it to inches. Next, for the width, you will put in 8.5 and for the height, 11. Then choose create a design and a new blank design will pop up. Once I have my blank page, the next thing I like to do is add border. I personally like adding border to worksheets because I feel like it makes them look more appealing. To create a simple border, go to elements and choose a square. Then I'm going to go to border style and I'm going to change my weight to about six. Next, I'm going to change the color to no color. And then I'm going to click and drag so I can adjust the size of the border. Now that I've added border, it's time to add the text. I like to start off with the student name, date, and the title of my worksheet. To add text, click on text and then select add a text box. Now I'm going to type in the word name and I'm going to adjust the font style, and then I'm going to click and drag it up to the top where I want it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it just because it's already the same size, so I won't have to change it again, and change it to date. Next, I'm going to go to elements, and I will search for lines. I'll choose a line so that students have somewhere to write their name. Now I'm going to move it up next to the word and I'm going to click and drag it to the right so that the line can be longer. Next, I'm going to go back and add another line for the date. This time, I'm going to click and drag it to the left to make it shorter. Now I want the lines a little bit thinner, so I'm going to go up to the line style and adjust the weight to about 2 and I'll do the same for date. Now I'll add the title, so I'll go back to text and I'll select add a text box. The title of this worksheet is going to be similes, so I will type that in. And then I'm going to adjust it just so I can see it better and I will move it to the top. Next, I will go over to the fonts and I'm going to be using Bobby Jones. And then I do want it a little bit smaller. So in order to change the font, I'm going to go up and simply decrease it just a little bit by clicking on the minus sign. The next step is to add any elements like clip art, shapes, tables, this is great for organizing the information and making the worksheet more engaging. To add a box, I'll go over to elements and then I'm going to choose a square. This is going to be where I put the definition of a simile. So I'll click and drag it right underneath the title. Next, I'm just changing the color to make it a light gray so that the words can be seen better. To create a table, I will go over and select a square, then I'm going to click it and drag it to adjust it to the size that I would like. I'll change the color to white, and then I'll go over back to elements and add lines so that I can create two columns and a few rows in this worksheet. Now that my table's ready, I'm going to go back and add a square, and this time I'm going to click it and drag it so that it fits into the rectangles at the very top of my table. This is where I'm going to add the titles 
for each column. I want to actually add another row to the table, so I'm going to adjust this box at the top so that I'll have enough room to make the table a little bit bigger. That way I have more space to add another row. On this table, I am going to make the first row a little bit smaller because that's going to be the area where I put the example. So the boxes won't need to be as big as the other boxes where students will actually be writing in on the right side. Now I'm going to group the table. To do this, I am pressing shift on my computer and then selecting all the elements that I used. Then I'll press group and the table moves as one. Now it's time to add the clip art. In elements, I will search for stars. I'm using stars as a clip art because in the example that I'm going to provide on this worksheet, I'm going to be using a simile that compares stars and diamonds. So next I will search for diamonds and add that just on the other side of the title. When you're creating your worksheet, you can choose any type of clip art that matches the theme of your worksheet. After adding elements, I start filling in the worksheet content with things like questions or directions. To add content to a worksheet, I'll simply go over to text and then add a text box. Then I'll start typing in whatever I want to include for this worksheet. For my worksheet, I'll be adding a definition, directions, and then I'll be adding some examples of similes. Since this step is different for everyone, I'm going to speed up this part of the video so you can see how it all comes together without having to sit through the entire process. The last step is to add copyright. This is important if you're planning on selling or sharing your work online. I have my copyright saved from another document so I don't have to retype it each time, so I just paste it and then adjust it at the bottom. Finally, when the design is all complete, it is time to flatten it and export it as a PDF. Flattening the design ensures that it stays intact and that it can't be edited by others. To export, go to Share and then click on Download. Hover over File Type, and I like to choose PDF Print, and then you're going to click the box that says flatten PDF to flatten your design and then download. Once your file is done downloading, you may now open it up and see your PDF version. From there, you can choose to print your design and then you will have the printout of your worksheet. And that's it. That is how you create a worksheet in Canva. If you enjoyed this video, Please make sure to like and subscribe for more tips like this. Thanks for watching.